Hello, hello, Majid English 8 here. I hope you are doing great and watching these videos, you are improving your speaking skill among other skills. Today I am with you with another unit of yellow interchange and especially focusing on jobs. So we are having a lot of speaking and listening among other skills, especially for job related issues so as we head for yes interchange unit eight where do you work and the main areas that i cover today is asking for and giving information about work giving opinions about jobs describing workday routines so these are the main areas covered and under grammar focus i talk about simple present wh questions which last session we talked about yes no with a do and does and then placement of adjectives adjectives come after to be verbs adjective adjectives go before nouns okay <clears throat> so on our book Yes. Unit 8, where do you work? If you see here a list of some jobs given to you, and I hope that you are okay with their pronunciations, but I want to give you the chance to first check your pronunciation if you are pronouncing these words correctly or not. So please pause the video here and pronounce these words once for you and then listen to the pronunciation of the book okay so please pause the video here and pronounce all the words for yourself and now i am playing the track for you to check your pronunciation okay listen please unit eight where do you work page 50 exercise one Word power. Jobs. Part A. Match the jobs with the pictures. Then listen and practice. 1. J. Police officer. Mm -hmm. 2. O. Taxi driver. 3. P. Vendor. Four G host five N server six D chef seven K receptionist eight A accountant 9. I. Office manager. 10. F. Front desk clerk. 11. B. Bellhop. 12. H. Nurse. 13. E. Doctor. 14. L. Salesperson. 15. C. Cashier. 16. M. Security guard. Okay. <clears throat> How close was your pronunciation to the words you heard? Mm -hmm. so some of the words could be a little difficult one more time i am reading please repeat after me okay accountant bellhop cashier chef sh chef doctor front desk clerk host nurse office manager police officer receptionist 
Salesperson Security Guard Server Taxi Driver Vendor Okay, maybe the pronunciation of some of these words could be hard for you. I think A. Accountant Maybe Cashier And this one is Chef Some students go Chef And this is G. Host Not Host Host Office Manager Police Officer Receptionist Security Secure Security Guard Server, taxi driver, and vendor. Okay, this was the pronunciation of these words. Now, let's see what is what. For example, if you want to ask me about the job of number one, what is your question if you want to ask me about the job of number one? Very good. Your question is what does he do or she do, whatever, and what is his job? These two are the same. So asking a question about jobs, you can say, what does he do? What is his job? Or what do you do? What is your job? So your question for this one will be very good. What does she do? And your answer is she is a police officer. Question for number two. Very good. What does he do? And the answer is a taxi driver please ask me for number three question good what does he do and the answer is he's a vendor vendor is someone selling something like ice cream or things like that sort on the street not in a fixed store or shop so he's a vendor <clears throat> number four please ask me for her Good. I want you to ask this question 10 times. Mm -hmm. This way it will be fixed in your mind. What does she do? What does she do? She is a host. And a host is someone at a restaurant who welcomes guests to and uh, guides them. For example, go to this table, to that table. This is a restaurant host. So what does she do? She is a host or a restaurant host. <clears throat> Please ask me, what does he do? He is a server. Someone who serves at a restaurant, brings food. <clears throat> Number six, ask me, what does she do? What does she do? Mm, honestly, oh, it's that one. I, I thought it was this one. So, uh, what does he do? What does she do? She's a chef because the person is cooking. So the book caught me. This one question. What does he do? He's a receptionist. What does she do? She is a I guess this one is an accountant and this one is a receptionist or whatever. What does she do? She is an office manager. She's an office manager. She's angry at the people working. Question, what does he do? He is a front desk clerk. What is a front desk clerk? A front desk clerk is very similar to a receptionist, but usually front desk clerks are working at hotels, entertaining people who come. Okay, so front desk clerks are working at hotels. <clears throat> and uh, what does he do? He is a bellhop. Is a bellhop so what does a bellhop do exactly a bellhop carries your suitcases mm -hmm. that is a bellhop so when you go to a hotel the person coming to you to carry your suitcases to your room is called bellhop okay and you usually leave a tip leave a tip leave a tip Tip means the money you pay, for example, at a restaurant or at a hotel to someone who does something for you. Okay. And uh, number 12, what does he do? He's a nurse. What does she do? She's a doctor. What does she do? You see, now the question has become automatic for you. What does he do? What does she do? 
What does she do? She's a salesperson. What does she do? She's a cashier. And last question. What does he do? He's a security guard. Okay. So I am sure that right now this question has become good for you. What does he do? What does she do? What do you do? Mm -hmm. And we learned a list of some jobs. Now, my question for you is this. Among these jobs, which one is the most interesting to you? Why? Okay, so I have this question for you here. Which of these jobs do you like best? Why? So, for example, you choose one of them and give your answer right now. Mm -hmm. Something like this. Please pause the video and give your answer. And my answer is something like this. For example, in this list, my favorite job is to be, for example, a police officer because I like the uniform police officers wear and also I like to uh, be working in police and ensuring security for the society. Okay, so this is a simple answer you can give or you can choose any other jobs. I like to be a chef because I like food and I like cooking. A sample response like this. I like to be a taxi driver because every day I see a lot of people and I can talk to them. And also I go to different parts of the city. So your speaking could be something as simple as this. The other question, which of these jobs do you not like? Why? So again, pause the video and give your answer. Mm -hmm. So my answer to this, the job that I do not like is, for example, <clears throat> I don't like to be a security guard because I think it's boring to stand all day long and do nothing. I don't like to be an accountant because I'm not good at numbers and I don't like to be sitting at a computer every day. I don't like to be a uh, bellhop because it's a difficult job for me and I cannot lift heavy suitcases these are simple answers this way you can improve your speaking okay so i hope you're doing good with this exercise let's move exercise two talking about workplaces so in the previous exercise here we were talking about what the question was <clears throat> What do you do? What does he do? What does she do? Here in this exercise, we are asking where, because it says workplaces. So what do you do? Where do you work? These are two questions, yeah? I write both of them for you here. What do you do? It means what is your job? Where do you work? I work here, I work there. So for example, for a doctor, please answer me. What do you do? Good, I'm a doctor. Where do you work? Good, I work at a hospital. Very good, very good. Please answer this for me, for, for example, a salesperson. <clears throat> what do you do? I'm a salesperson. Where do you work? I work at this big mall. I work at this store. I work at this shop. Very good. And let's ask for a she. A she who is a nurse. Please ask me. Good. What does she do? What does she do? She's a nurse. This question. Where does she work? She works at a hospital. So what do you do? What does she do? Where do you work? Where does she work? Good, good. Mm -hmm. Now here we have, see, it says a doctor works in a hospital, a nurse works in a hospital too. So our question is for these places. Who works in these places? So before we go, we talked about what, we talked about where, and now 
we want to ask questions for who if who is a subject it doesn't need do or does or anything see for what what do you do where where do you work when and all the other questions that later i will teach you for who if who is a subject we don't need any question verb we just bring who in the sentence for example ask me who and wear uniform who and wear uniform so your question is who wears a uniform as easy as that who wears a uniform so if your question if your who question is for subject you don't need a do or a does or any other question verb who wears a uniform now please ask me who and works in a hospital very good so your question is who works in a hospital who works in a hospital a doctor does if you want a professional answer it is a doctor does you can say a doctor works in a hospital but a doctor does a nurse does these are beautiful answers so please ask uh, answer me who works in a hospital very good a doctor does a nurse does a chef does a security guard does a custodian a custodian works in a hospital and who is a custodian a custodian is someone responsible for cleaning the areas and things so let's look at google so this person is a custodian yeah cleaning the hospital and things so who works in a hospital a custodian does mm -hmm. and maybe some other people please ask me good who works in an office and the answer an accountant does an office manager does uh a receptionist does and many other people maybe a lawyer does question for store good who works in a store who works in a store a security guard does a cashier does a salesperson does and anyone else question for hotel who works in a hotel who was the first person in a hotel at the desk front desk clerk or front desk agent front desk clerk hotel manager a chef security guard who lifts your suitcases a bellhop very good okay so this was the question for who now here we have some extra exercises for who questions okay Let's have some speaking together here in part B. Who questions? For example, says, who wears a uniform? A police officer wears a uniform or a police officer does. A security guard wears a uniform too, means also. Please ask me. Good. Who talks to people? Who talks to people? For example, a teacher talks to people, a lawyer talks to people, a receptionist talks to people. Good. Who sits all day? Maybe you can say a receptionist. If you want to take a look at the list of the jobs in the previous page, mm -hmm. now maybe you have a better idea. Yeah. Okay. So I'm asking you who works hard, who works hard. Maybe you say a chef works hard, a nurse works hard. Yeah. 
A police officer works hard. Who stands all day? Very good. Front desk clerks stand all day. A vendor stands all day. Yeah. Who works at night? A security guard works at night. Sometimes the doctor, sometimes a nurse. Yeah. Who works with a team? A nurse works with a team. A doctor works with a team. Most of the jobs work with a team. Who makes a lot? So we say make a lot of money. You see? Make a lot of money. Who makes a lot of money? Make a lot of money. Also, you say make your bed in the morning when you get up. Also, you say make photocopy make a photocopy so these are three combinations with make i wanted you to have them all here so <clears throat> who makes a lot of money for example you say some doctors make a lot of money mm -hmm. okay so this was all the questions we had for the workplace where and who okay i hope you got it well Exercise three and our conversation. Before you read the text, please tell me, do you think this person likes his job? Please make two sentences, three sentences. Mm -hmm. Your sample response will be something like this. No, I think he doesn't like his job because he seems to be bored. Boring? Bored yeah okay and what do you think his job is what do you think his job is he has some office work for example maybe he is an accountant maybe he is he doesn't seem to be a receptionist so when i ask you a question if you know the answer you say if you don't know you say he seems to be i think it is the language of guess okay and sometimes you bring some negative responses for example i think he is not a doctor he is not a nurse yeah okay so <clears throat> in the conversation some focus questions i have prepared for you there are two people in this conversation one of them is jordan and the other one is alicia so listen and tell me without looking at the pictures without looking at the book jordan is the first one alicia is the second one okay tell me where does alicia's brother work the second girl and what is his job what about the other person and what is his job so these two girls are talking about their brothers okay where do they work what do they do Listen, please. Page 51. Exercise 3. Conversation. What does he do? Listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. This one is Alicia. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's an accountant. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Oh. <laughs> so... Can you tell me, please, where does Alicia's brother work? He works at a hotel. What is his job? He's the manager. What about the other person? He works at a hotel, too. And what is his job? He's an accountant. Okay, let's listen to it one more time, looking at the conversation. Pay what does he do? 
Listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's an accountant. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. Mm -hmm. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> he's the manager. So that is the funny part of the story. Okay, so uh, we kind of understood what the conversation was about. The two girls are talking about their brothers. Both of them are working at the same hotel. And her brother is an accountant and doesn't like the manager. Interestingly enough, her brother is the hotel manager. Okay, so one more time. Let's listen. What does he... Or vocabulary do listen and practice where does your brother work where does your brother work please repeat in a hotel in a hotel oh really oh really my brother works in a hotel too my brother works in a hotel too he's an accountant he's an accountant how does he like it how does he like it? He hates it. He hates it. Hate, dislike, not like. Yeah. <clears throat> Hate or dislike. He doesn't like the manager. He doesn't like the manager. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? What hotel does he work for? I will talk about this grammar later. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. The plaza. That's funny. That's funny. My brother works there too. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Opposite of boring. What does he do? What does he do? Actually. 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 In fact. He's the manager. He's the manager. Actually, he's the manager. So this was for the sake of... Uh, the repetition and our pronunciation now some grammar practice here it says where does your brother work easy question uh, my brother works in a hotel could you ask me a yes no question for this my brother works in a hotel change it into a yes no question please very good does your brother work in a hotel yes he does no he doesn't He's an accountant. Question, please. It could be, is he an accountant? And the WH, what does he do? Very good. How does he like it? It means, does he like his job? Yes or no? He hates it. Please ask me a yes, no for this. He hates it. Good. Does he hate it? He doesn't like the manager. The manager. It means manager of that hotel. He doesn't like the manager. So if I want to translate this for Iranian uh, people, for Persian speakers, I say he doesn't like the manager. Mudire unjaro dus nadare. There here means there. Flash to bad. What hotel does he work for? What hotel does he work for? So for example, the sentence is He works for Plaza. Now, the yes no question for that is Does he work for Plaza? And then 
we bring a where before it and we say or what we say what hotel because plaza is what hotel what hotel does he work for as easy as that what hotel does he work for okay what hotel does he work for the plaza <clears throat> that's funny my brother works there too please ask me a yes no does your brother work there too <clears throat> that's interesting <clears throat> what does he do he's the manager okay actually means in fact in fact or actually yes okay <clears throat> so this was our conversation now as an extra <clears throat> speaking practice i might ask you do you like to work at a hotel and uh, please pause the video and give your answer so uh, an answer to that could be yes i like to work at a hotel because i like meeting new people every day and uh, the hotel work seems interesting to me because every day i meet different people new people or you say no i don't like to work at a hotel because i know it's a very hard job i don't like to be working at night and working at a hotel needs working at night too okay so this could be an answer and <clears throat> yes that was the extra speaking practice that <clears throat> I asked the question so the question is this if you want to put it in order how do you put it in order mm -hmm. very good do you like do you like to work at a hotel that was the one we talked about okay thank you The grammar focus, <clears throat> the grammar focus and our very important topic, simple present, WH questions. Uh, the other session we talked about do and does. In unit 6 we did, in unit 7 we talked about that. So here again, unit 8, talking about do and does, but with WH. What, where, when, and all the other information questions. So as you see here, some simple questions like, where do you work in a hotel, in a hospital? What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? It means, uh, do you enjoy it or not? How do you like it? The answer could be, I really like it. It's okay. Means neither very good nor very bad. And how do you like it? I hate it. So I like it very much. Okay. I hate it he or she you what where do you work he or she where does he work what does he do and how does he like it so you see where do you work where does he work what do you do what does he do how do you like it how does he like it okay and they where do they work what do they do and how do they like it okay so let's go here simple present wh questions do and does plus subject plus verb for example do you like and the rest of the sentence do you like fancy cars do you like pizza do you like kebab iranian food do you like houses or apartments do you like to be a doctor do you like to travel to australia and all of these questions do you and the verb and the answer yes i do no i don't so it could be you i we and they would do what about does does he she or 
it. So, does he like fancy cars? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does he like pizza? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does he like Samsung or iPhone, for example? Does he like to be on the sixth floor or on the second floor? Yeah. Do for I, you, we, they, or anything else meaning this. For example, my father and my mother. It means they. <clears throat> My teacher and I, it means we. My brother and you, again it means you. It is a plural you. And I, which is I. So, does for he, she, it, or anyone else meaning these. For example, your school. It is your, it's not you. So, your school means it. Again, does their grandmother so it means a she our dog it could mean a he uh, a she or even it so be careful it's not always he she it it's sometimes something else meaning that okay let's have some extra examples but before that the simpler exercise is here to take care of this one Complete these conversations and uh, <clears throat> practice with a partner that we are doing here. Okay, I a little enlarge it for you guys. Yes. What does your sister do? My sister? She's a teacher. Uh, uh -huh. Look at the answer. It's difficult, but she loves it. So this is this question. How does she like it it's difficult but she loves it mm -hmm. this one <clears throat> look at the answer in an office so it should be where does your brother work in an office he is an accountant oh he doesn't like it so how does he like it how does he like it he doesn't really like it okay and this one do your parents because it's like how do your parents like their jobs oh i guess they like them i don't remember in a big hospital where do they work in a big hospital they're doctors and i'm a student so what do you do i'm a student i see mm -hmm. i got it they're great i like them so how do you like your classes okay <clears throat> so this was some grammar practice that we did and uh, <clears throat> it's not difficult now so we have three questions once more i refresh your mind where i'm asking for example for here he she where does he work what does he do and how does he like it these questions for these guys so please ask me where where does he work he works at a school what what does he do and be careful with your pronunciation too what does he do he is a teacher how and like good how does he like it he loves it very much if you look at his smile so jody please ask me what good what does she do i guess she is a receptionist probably and uh, where where does she work she works at an office and how like how does she like it <clears throat> she doesn't like it she hates it okay <clears throat> Chad and Tracy. Chad and Tracy, so it will make it they. Please ask me what and uh, do. What do they do? They are salespeople. Salesperson, salespeople. 
one salesperson and uh, for example two sales people yeah person people their sales people wear and work where do they work they work at a store how and like how do they like their job you can say they like it it's okay or whatever okay so we have the speaking practice here as well my only request is that you whenever i want you to speak please speak please ask questions and this way your speaking will improve extra examples for your grammar with wh question words it says the sun rises in the morning please ask me when good when when does the sun rise it rises because of he she it okay so for he she it we have the third singular verb we have talked about it before the sun rises i and brush i brush my teeth before going to bed so what very good what do you do before going to bed you can ask when when do you brush your teeth before going to bed okay cats cats like to chase mice two things here chase means run after and mice is the plural of mouse so it is irregular verb irregular noun in terms of pluralization mouse you see mouse mouse and the dictionary says plural is mice mouse mice it could be this one in nature it could be for your computer okay so chase also means run after go after what please ask me good what do what do what do cats like to chase they like to chase mice we eat, eat dinner at 6 p.m when when very good when do you eat dinner at 6 p.m very good she reads books in the library where where does she read please be careful with your pronunciation where does she read where does she read books she reads books at the library dogs bark when they see strangers bark the noise that the bar the dog makes is called bark what question what do the dogs do what do dogs do when they see strangers what do dogs do when they see strangers okay so they bark he and plays what good what does he play on weekends or you can ask for weekends when does he play soccer good and a sentence regarding space and astronomy the earth rotates or turns around rotates around the sun what you can say what does the earth do possible what does the earth rotate around what does the earth rotate around it rotates around the sun mm -hmm. okay so this was our grammar of simple present questions yes no questions wh questions do and does that we talked about okay that's good it requires a lot of practice and that's why i am emphasizing pronunciation 
reduction of do. So it's not like we pronounce it, for example, where do you work? No. These two are kind of mixed together or join each other and then make, make it where do you work? Where do you work? You hear a slight j sound. Where do you work? What do you do? What do you do? You see, kind of they are assimilating or mixing together. Let's listen to the part. Ambulances all the time. Page 52. Exercise 4. Page 52. Exercise 5. Pronunciation. Reduction of do. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do. So reduction means short form, not full. Where do you work? Where do you work? What do you do? What do you do? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do they do? What do they do? Okay. And here I have brought you some extra examples. How do you read these? If you say, where does she work? It's not what they pronounce in their speech. So, where does she? Does she? Where does she work? Where does she work? What does she do? What does she do? What does he say? What does he say? It's not he. What does he? What does he? What does he say? And when do you come? When do you come? Okay? So it's not like if you pronounce, for example, where does she work? Where does she work? It's a problem. No, everybody understands you. Problems com problem comes in listening because they don't say, where does she work? They say, where does she work? And then you say, oh, what was that? Because your pronunciation is not correct, you, don't, you will have problems with listening not speaking okay so pronounce these things correctly xi6 in snapshot okay <clears throat> we had <laughs> it's in fact my favorite question you know uh, do you remember in unit 3, we want to ask a question, for example, describe your brother for me. Our question was, what's your brother like? What's he like? What's she like? Then in unit 4, we talked about the weather. We said, what's the weather like? Mm -hmm. And here again, we say, what's your job like? So it's a very important question. We can ask it in different scenarios. What's your job like? What's your job like? And then you say, oh, my job is easy. My job is difficult. My job is interesting. My job is boring or whatever coming to your mind. So here, these four people are talking about their jobs. What's your job like? The first one. Let's listen. Page 53, exercise six, snapshot. Listen and practice. What's your job like? I'm a lawyer at a big law firm. Mm -hmm. It's difficult and really stressful. I don't like my job much. Okay, so <clears throat> she doesn't like her job, yeah? Uh, as in speak as a speaking practice my recommendation for you is to for example give a short summary of this person 
pause the video here and give a short summary what her job is and if she likes it or not and your response could be something like this she's a lawyer and she works in a big law firm she doesn't like her job because it's very stressful this way you are practicing your speaking okay good just before we go ask me for the sake of your grammar practice i'm a lawyer question what do you do at a big law firm question where do you work or where does she work she works at a big law firm firm means company now please ask me it's difficult and stressful very good what's your job like or for her what's her job like good I don't like my job. How do you like your job? How does she like her job? So, did you understand? We are working on this part for the sake of speaking, for the sake of grammar practice. Let's go to the second one now that you know what I want you to do. So, be all ears, please, for the second one. Prepare yourself for giving a summary. I'm a photographer for a local newspaper. I love my job. It's not easy, but it's fun. So, Melanie, Melanie, please tell me a summary. Good. So, your summary is, she's a photographer and she works for a newspaper. She loves her job because it is fun. Good. Now, please ask me. I'm a photographer for her. What does she do? Local newspaper. Where does she work? Right now, if you're okay with the grammar, please focus on your pronunciation as well. So don't say, where does she work? Where does she work? Good. I love my job. Does she love her job? It's not easy, but fun. What's her job like? Very good. Number three. I'm a software engineer. My job is okay. It's easy and pretty relaxing, but it isn't boring. Mm hmm So, Martin? Yes, the summary. He's a software engineer. It's okay for him. His job is easy, but his job is easy and relaxing. He, he says his job is not boring. Okay, so ask me please for he. Software engineer, what does he do? My job is okay. How does he like it? Or maybe what's his, uh, what's his job like? It's better for this one, relaxing and not boring. It's relaxing and boring, not boring. What's his job like? Very good. And uh, the last one, Jeremy. I'm a pilot for a small airline. It's a little dangerous, but very exciting. I like my job a lot. Good, good. So, please give me the summary, please. Yeah, he is a pilot. He works for a small airline. His job could be a little dangerous, but he likes it. Grammar practice, please. Pilot. What does he do? Small airline. Where does he work? Dangerous and exciting. What's his job like? I like my job. How does he like it? Or does he like his job? Yes. Okay. So practicing your grammar, practicing your speaking simultaneously it means at the same time. Simultaneously. adverb it's a chic word simultaneously means at the same time as extra practice <clears throat> what makes each of these jobs interesting what makes them uninteresting so i ask you the speaking question please tell me what makes 
a lawyer job interesting pause the video and speak mm -hmm. what makes a lawyer's job uninteresting please pause the video and speak i have some sample responses for you but you can give your answers before i read that for you or after that <clears throat> anyway for a lawyer lawyers help people solve problems and understand rules it's interesting because they get to learn about many different things and use their speaking and writing skills it's a simple sample response for the answer why a lawyer's job might be interesting okay why not interesting sometimes it might be not interesting if they have a lot of paperwork paperwork or if the cases are not very exciting case is someone or a project a lawyer is working on okay so why a lawyer might have an interesting job solving the problems understanding different peoples and these things why not interesting because some of the cases are difficult tough and there is a lot of paperwork yes so this was my sample response for the lawyer what's your sample response for the photographer before i read mine hmm? it's your speaking time i will read mine don't mind it i will read mine so this is the photographer why a photographer's job might be interesting photographers get to capture amazing moments with their cameras beautiful get to means have this chance to photographers have this chance to capture amazing moments capture amazing moments with their cameras it's interesting because they get they can be creative and make beautiful pictures okay this sample is not difficult why a photographer's job might be not interesting it might not be interesting if the weather is bad or if they were they have to take pictures of things they don't like so this is the part of the job for a photographer job which might not be interesting software engineer your answer my answer software engineers create computer programs and apps that we use every day it's interesting because they get to solve they have the chance to solve puzzles and make cool things with technology so they get to solve puzzles solve puzzles and make cool things with technology my suggestion please transfer these beautiful parts into your vocabulary notebook and review your vocabulary notebook every day so get to means have the chance to for example as <clears throat> as a flight attendant i get to see different countries different cities every year and make sentences for yourself solve puzzles was beautiful make cool things was beautiful uninteresting it might not be interesting if they have to fix a lot of bugs bugs computer problems are called bugs or if they were if there were if the work gets too repetitive repeat repetitive adjective sometimes a software engineer's work is repetitive they have to do the same thing over and over pilots your answer why interesting why uninteresting my answer pilots fly airplanes and travel to different places it's interesting because they get to see they have the chance to see the world from the sky and have adventures it was beautiful why not it might not be interesting if they have to be away from home a lot away from home or if the flights are long and tiring tired the person is tired the flight is tiring making you feel tired okay 
So these were the sample responses I provided. My suggestion, you please speak while we are covering this unit. This way you're speaking does improve and I guarantee that does improve. Hope you're not tired. Hope you're doing great. If you are a bit tired, get up, do something and come back. XI7 and the conversation. It's a dangerous job. What does this person do? He's a firefighter or a fireman. What's his job like? It's dangerous, yeah? It is dangerous because going into flames of fire, saving people, it is dangerous. Okay, pre-listening questions, Paula and Jack. <clears throat> so one of them, I told you what the... Jack is the boy, Paula is the girl. What does the boy do? What does the girl do? Okay, listen, please. Page 53, exercise seven, conversation. It's a dangerous job. Listen and practice. Hey, Paula, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's difficult, but the students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. Guess what? I'm a firefighter now. Really? Wow. How do you like it? It's a dangerous job, but it's really interesting. I love it. Okay, but please be careful. <laughs> please be careful. Sure. <clears throat> so, you got it? He, what does Jack do? Is a firefighter. Yeah. What does she do? She's a math teacher. Where does she work? At Lincoln High School. And how are the students? They are terrific. Like you guys. They are terrific. One more time. Let's listen. Looking at the conversation. It's a dangerous job. Listen and practice. Hey, Paula. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. Okay, not a bad idea for you guys to repeat. I know you like repeating. A new job? Please repeat after me. Hey, Paula. I hear you have a new job. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. Lincoln High School, American president. How do you like it? How do you like it? How do you like it? It's difficult. It's difficult. But the students are terrific. But the students are terrific. How are things with you? How are things with you? Not bad. Not bad. Guess what? Guess what? I'm a firefighter now. I'm a firefighter now. Really? Really? Wow. How do you like it? How do you like it? It's a dangerous job. It's a dangerous job. It's a dangerous job. But it's really interesting. But it's really interesting. I love it. I love it. Okay, but please be careful. Okay. But please be careful, okay? And a note on pronunciation. You know about the pronunciation of okay. I have talked about it before. The stress falls on the second syllable, making it okay. And with k careful. There is k in different languages, but the quality of these k sounds could be different. So in English, it is a dry k. So we say careful. I know in some other languages that k could be different, but 
please pronounce words correctly. Please be careful. Some students say, please be careful. Be careful. Or any other che, che sound. No, that's not the English K. The English K is K. Please be careful. Okay? Good. Now, let's have some grammar practice as well. I hear you have a new job. I'm teaching math. Question? What are you doing? What are you teaching? What do you do? What is your job? Please ask me for link in high school. Good. Where do you work? How do you like it? It's difficult. It's difficult. What's it like? The students are terrific. How are the students? How are the students? How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter. What do you do? Good. How do you like it? It's a dangerous job. What's it like? Very good. You see, things are getting automatic for you. I love it. You love it. And be careful. Okay. Very good. Very good. I'm so happy you're making significant progress. Thank you. Just as some extra speaking, you might answer this question. Do you like to be a firefighter? Your answer. For example, you can say, yes, I like this job very much because it's exciting for me and I like danger. Also, I like saving people. Or you say, no, this is not the job I like. It's not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea because I think it's a very dangerous job. It's not my It's not my cup of tea. Idiom. It means it's not something I like. Okay? So from each exercise I would like to have some speaking. And now exercise 8. Is your job interesting? Four people talking about their jobs. Number 1, what do they do? Number two, what's it like? So, for what do they do, we need a noun, the name of a job. For what's it like, we need an adjective. Easy, difficult, boring, interesting, mm -hmm, exciting, whatever. So, let's listen to the first one. Page 53, exercise 8, listening. Is your job interesting? Listen to four people talk about their jobs. Complete the chart with the correct jobs and adjectives. 1. Where do you work now, Yasmin? I have a new job. I work downtown. What do you do exactly? I'm a street vendor. I sell ice cream. Really? What's it like? It's an exciting job. I talk to lots of cool people every day. Okay, what is your summary for this job? Mm -hmm. So, she's a vendor. She's a vendor. And what's it like? It's interesting. She sells ice cream downtown and she talks, she meets lots of interesting people. Okay, I want you to pause the video and give this summary yourself number two please we will listen to this part one more time don't worry about that two what do you do kana i work in an office really what do you do exactly i'm a manager what's it like i don't think that's an easy job no it isn't i have a difficult job but i like it Okay, what about her? Yes, yeah, so she is a manager, she has a difficult job, but she likes it. Number three. Three. Where do you work, Luke? At a store. Oh, are you a salesperson or a cashier? No, actually, I'm a security guard. Really? How do you like it? It's pretty boring. I don't like it very much. 
Yeah, honestly, he's right. So he's a security guard working at a store and he finds it boring. Yeah, so you can say he finds this job boring. It means he thinks this job. He finds this job boring means he thinks this job is boring. Yeah, okay. Four. What do you do, Brandon? I work at the city hospital. The city hospital? Are you a doctor? No, I'm a nurse. What's that like? Is your job interesting? Oh, yes. Every day is different. I really like it. Brandon? He works at a hospital and he's a nurse. He finds it really interesting because every day is different for him very good that was the speaking practice for this part now let's go for the vocabulary talk about and their jobs one where do you work now yasmin i you you can pause it sentence by sentence and repeat it okay but i just want to give you the beautiful vocabulary of that I have a new job I work downtown. What do you do exactly? What do you do exactly? I'm a street vendor. So you remember street vendor. Vendor. Mm -hmm. So if you want to have a clear understanding of a vendor, that's a vendor 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 yeah so now you have a pretty clear imagination of what a vendor might look like so i'm a street vendor i sell ice cream really what's it like what's it like it's an exciting job I talk to lots of cool people every so it's an exciting job and she likes to lots of people. day cool people interesting people two what do you do Kana I work in an office really what do you do exactly I'm what do you do exactly I'm a manager what's it like I don't think that's an easy job no it isn't i have a difficult job mm -hmm. but i like it i like it three where do you work luke at a store mm -hmm. oh are you a salesperson are you a salesperson or a cashier no actually i'm a security guard really how do you like it how do you like it it's pretty boring I don't like it very much. Mm -hmm. Four. What do you do, Brandon? What do you do, Brandon? I work at the city hospital. The city hospital? Are you a doctor? No, I'm a nurse. What's that like? What's that like? What's it like? What's that like? Is your job interesting? Oh, yes. Every day is different. I really like it. Every day is different and I really like it. Okay, so this was the listening part. We talked about its words and things. Exercise 9 Grammar Focus Placement of Adjectives. I got a good question for you. Do you know what an adjective is? What is an adjective? Simplistically speaking, an adjective is the word that modifies another noun. For example, I say house, beautiful house, big house, red house, white house, old house. All of these are adjectives. And the adjective is the word to which you can add or I mean you can make a comparative adjective out of it for example I say big 
bigger interesting more interesting expensive more expensive old older tall taller all of these are adjectives that you can have comparative for but for a noun you cannot have chair chairer girl girler treer no so adjectives can modify nouns and adjectives can be used in comparative forms okay and for persian speakers sifat un chiziye ke tarotarin migire pas bozorgtar qashangtar qadimitar bolantar all of these ama dige sandali taro dokhtar taro miz taro ina incorrect okay i hope you got it now where do adjectives go placement of adjectives you know two places adjectives go <clears throat> after to be verbs adjectives go before nouns how for example my job is to be am is are is great i have a great job my house is big i have a big house this is placement of adjectives so two places for adjectives adjectives go after to be verbs adjectives go before nouns a doctor's job is stressful a doctor has a stressful so be careful a doctor's job is stressful a doctor has a stressful job have a job is stressful a firefighter job is dangerous a firefighter has a dangerous job i usually find this grammar easy in my classes so that's why i think this amount of explanation will do let's change these sentences and say it the other way a photographer's job is interesting a photographer has an interesting job you please say a pilot's job is exciting a pilot has an exciting job an exciting job a teacher's job is stressful a teacher a teacher has a stressful job i don't think so a cashier has a boring job a cashier's job apostrophe s a cashier's job is boring an accountant has a difficult job an accountant's job is difficult good and a receptionist has an easy job a receptionist job is easy very good very good okay what do i have here as extra examples uh -huh, that is for part b so we understood it yeah <clears throat> now find some jobs that are easy difficult dangerous boring exciting relaxing for example the book says an actor has an easy job i don't think so a difficult job a firefighter for example a nurse a dangerous job again a firefighter a nurse sometimes police officers depending on where they are working boring a security guard yeah uh exciting exciting sometimes actors sometimes uh, firefighters it's you who make your job exciting relaxing for example who has a relaxing job means it's not difficult you can find a job for that doesn't matter okay so my extra examples with those jobs and why I provide these examples for you so that you understand how to expand your talk and how to make sentences. An astronaut, the one going into space, has an exciting job because they get to, they have the chance to explore space, search space, and float in zero gravity float in zero gravity so when there is no gravity in space they float yeah astronaut okay if you want to see who an astronaut is this is an astronaut 
astronaut and he is floating in zero gravity yeah float okay so <clears throat> this was my example for an exciting job difficult job a firefighter has a difficult job or you can say a firefighter's job is difficult because they have to bravely bravely put out fires so put the fire out or put the fire off means to kill the fire and save pe people so transfer it into your vocabulary notebook put out a fire a police officer a police officer's job is dangerous because they have to keep us safe and catch bad guys catch catch bad guys okay a librarian's job might be relaxing may be relaxing because they uh, get to read and help people find books get to so i hope by now you learned this get to which means they have the chance to construction worker a construction worker's job can be difficult because they have to lift heavy things and build big structures construction worker do you know who a construction worker is this is a construction worker someone who works on a building someone who uh, works on constructing construct means build construct build a painter's job might be boring for some people because they have to paint the same thing over and over over and over means repeatedly means again over 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 and over and the last one an actor's job an actor's job is exciting because they get to pretend to be different characters and be on tv or in movies so some points here number one get to that by now you're okay pretend means you are not this person but you put yourself instead of that you pretend to be different characters it is character some people pronounce it character character and be on tv so pronounced the uh, preposition for tv is on okay so that was my part for this speaking okay here we talked about adjectives placement of adjectives i didn't find it very difficult if you're okay we move to exercise 11 speaking workday routines okay so here we have some speaking and these are some sample questions okay do you have a job where do you work what do you do and is it interesting or things here i have typed them before speaking do you have a job where do you work what do you do is your job interesting what time do you start your work when do you finish do you like your job what do you do after work so my recommendation pause the video now and give your answer to these questions for your job i have a sample response now i will read that for you the sample response for a nurse i have prepared it i have a job i work at a hospital and i'm a nurse i help take care of people who are not feeling well my job is interesting because i get to meet new people and help them feel better i start work in the morning and finish it in the evening i really like my job because i can make a difference in people's lives after work i sometimes relax at home or spend time with my family and friends not difficult right let's see so i have a job i work at a hospital i'm a nurse i take care of take care of means care for who are not feeling well feel well 
These are the things you can transfer into your vocabulary notebook. I get to one more time, meet new people, help them feel better. I start work in the morning, finish in the evening. I really like my job. I can make a difference in something. I can make a difference in people's lives. Mm -hmm. It means I can change their lives and spend time with my friends and family, my family and friends. Okay, this was a sample response I provided for a nurse. You can give for any other job. Good, and reading is left. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed the session today, talking about jobs, just the reading of the unit is left, dream jobs, two jobs, Crocodile researcher and ice cream flavor expert. Okay, sounds like an interesting job. Okay, so because <clears throat> before we go to the reading, uh, I can ask you which of these jobs you like. You pause the video and say, I like this job because I like that job because I don't like jo that job because that is the speaking part that you can do. But for the sake of our reading, I have typed it here. Yes. Dream jobs, crocodile researcher. Let's listen to our track here. Page 54. Unit 9. I, I didn't expect that. Uh, this one is track 30. Track 30, track 30, that is track. Page 55, exercise 12, reading, dream jobs. Crocodile researcher. Mm -hmm. Please listen. I have a great job. I study crocodiles. It's an important job. Let me explain why. Here in Australia, we have a lot of crocodiles. Mm -hmm. Let me uh, put it all together. Yeah. I want you to enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes the crocodiles are sick. I want to know why. I study the food the crocodiles eat. I also learn how fast they grow and where they live. How do I do this? Well, in the morning, I take my camera and I watch the crocodiles in the river. I take photos. Sometimes the crocodiles eat toads. Some toads make them sick and they die. I want to help the crocodiles. The crocodiles eating everything. Sometimes they eat toads. And toad is a kind of frog. And they are poisonous. So that's why they get sick. Okay. <clears throat> so this was about the crocodile researcher. If I want to read it one more time for the sake of vocabulary or grammar practice, I have a great job. You can make a yes no question. Do you have a great job? I study crocodiles. Question. Do you study crocodiles or what do you study? It's an important job. Is it an important job? Let me explain why here in Australia we have a lot of crocodiles. We have a lot of crocodiles. Yes no question. Do you have a lot of crocodiles? Good. Sometimes the crocodiles are sick. I want to know why. I study the food the crocodiles eat. So question for food. What do you study? What do you study? Good. I also learn how fast they grow, where they live. How do I do this? Well, in the morning, I take my camera. I grab my camera. I watch the crocodiles in the river. I watch the crocodiles in the river. Good. Do you watch the crocodiles in the river? 
what do you watch in the river where do you watch all of these questions are possible i take photos so for photos we say take photos take the bus take the subway take uh, the cab take photos take a vacation sometimes the crocodiles eat toads mm -hmm. so sometimes the crocodiles oh if you want to see what a toad might look like toad that is what a toad might look like this is a toad it's a kind of frog not that beautiful to look at so your question is what do crocodiles eat sometimes some toads make them sick and they die i want to help the crocodiles okay so i hope it was not very difficult for you now ice cream flavor uh, ice cream flavor expert flavor means taste flavor means taste so there is someone who is the taste tester for ice creams let's listen okay ice cream flavor expert believe it or not i taste ice cream for my job yes it's a dream job but it's also difficult i work at a big ice cream company every day i taste lots of different flavors three times each why is that well i taste a little of the ice cream we make in the morning afternoon and at night that way i know that all the ice cream is good i use my eyes first does the ice cream look nice then i taste the ice cream with a spoon does it taste fresh and sweet then i spit it out yes i really spit it out <laughs> so the guy tastes the ice cream and then spits it out spit out means throw it out of his mouth okay so what about this part did it have any new word or something for us uh, believe it or not an idiom Belie when you have some <clears throat> exciting news you say believe it or not it means it is so interesting maybe you don't believe it believe it or not beautiful idiom i taste ice cream for my job question yes no do you taste ice cream for your job and question for ice cream what what do you taste for your job very good it's a dream job it's difficult it's difficult what's it like i work at a big ice cream company where where do you work very good every day i taste lots of different flavors okay what do you taste every day do you taste different flavors every day three times how many times do you taste ice cream how many times why is that i taste a little of the ice cream we make in the morning in the afternoon and at night okay i know that all uh, the ice cream is good okay i use my eyes first eyes what do you use first what do you use first does the ice cream look nice look beautiful look interesting then i taste the ice cream with a spoon with a spoon question what do you taste the ice cream with what do you taste the ice cream with with a spoon <clears throat> does it taste fresh and sweet sweet like the taste of sugar then i spit it out i spit it out yes i really spit it out okay so that was our reading i hope you got it and i hope you don't have a problem with the reading part now do you like to be an ice cream flavor expert you can pause the video and give your response yes i like it because 
I like ice cream very much this way I can eat ice cream for free every day or no I don't like it because I try to watch my diet and in this way I will put on a lot of weight every day simple responses and uh, mm -hmm. watch your dream job watch your dream job so my question for you is what's your dream job why so pause the video and give your own response otherwise i will give my response what's your dream job like why uh -huh. i have written it for a chef my dream job is to be a chef because i love making delicious food i want to create meals food that make people happy and bring them together i it's like magic magic like magic magic it's like magic in the kitchen mixing ingredients i will tell you what it is to make something special so ingredients are the elements you put in a food for example for pizza the ingredients would be cheese would be mushrooms would be sausages and whatever ingredients i enjoy trying new recipes recipes the order how to cook something first do this then do that after that do this recipe by adding my own twist to them my own trick my own idea my own yeah being a chef lets me be creative and share tasty experiences with others plus also it's fun to wear a cool chef's hat and an apron okay it had some words let's read that one more time my dream job is to be a chef my dream job is to be chef making delicious food i want to create meals have you bring them together it's like magic in the kitchen mixing ingredients it's the new word for you probably and the recipe the order of doing uh, the order of cooking lets me be creative creative mm -hmm. making things making new things share tasty experience with others plus it's fun to wear a cool chef's hat and apron mm -hmm. probably these are the new words for you yeah so let's see what an apron is this is an apron and a chef's hat that is a chef's hat okay so this is the vocabulary okay and our reading finished very good very good so my recommendation there was a lot of new words for you today please transfer them into your vocabulary notebook and review them every day several times okay so next session we will go to unit nine talking about foods okay but what did we talk about today a unit review on the book and then on the word file today we talked about jobs a list of some jobs here some of them were new to you the pronunciation we worked on and the question for the job was what do you do then we went here workplace where do you work all of that could be for he she as well what does he do where does he work here we talked about who questions they don't need a question word so who wears a uniform who talks to people and those things the conversation about two brothers working in the same hotel one of them does, who doesn't like the other one grammar focus of simple present wh questions we talked about that where do you work what do you do how do you like it or the counterpart for he she for example where does she work what does she do and how does she like it reduction of do we said it's not where do you work where do you work or what does she do for example 
our beautiful question that we had in the past what's your job like mm -hmm. it's easy it's difficult it's interesting it's boring you need an adjective to describe it the conversation about the fireman and uh, the math teacher at lincoln high school we talked about it the listening four people with four different jobs and uh, uh, what their job is like placement of adjectives we talked about adjectives go before nouns or adjectives go after to be verbs about our dream job we talked and the, the reading which was about two dream jobs okay and now the word file what we talked about here on the word file we talked about the jobs yeah nothing here nothing so collocations would make make a lot of money make your bed make a photocopy we talked about mm -hmm. and here the conversation hate for example we talked about in fact which means actually Grammar focus that I told you about. Extra examples that we talked about. Pronunciation in some other examples. Snapshot. Talking about jobs. These four jobs. What makes them interesting? What makes them not interesting? The conversation we talked about. Not my cup of tea. Not my. It's not my cup of tea. It means I don't like it the listening vendor cool which means interesting and that is an adjective okay grammar focus we talked about the placement of adjectives my job is great i have a great job some other examples we had put the fire out or put the fire off mm -hmm get to which means have the chance to construction worker over and over on tv for the dream job we talked mm -hmm. take care of feel well make a difference in something then here the dream jobs which didn't have that many words for us and the dream job as a chef ingredients recipes creative and apron okay my dear friends i hope you have enjoyed the lesson today and please follow these video clips please come with me and speak ask questions and this way actively involved in the process of learning i am sure that your speaking will be revolutionized I really feel happy if you learn something and if you can in improve your speaking by watching my video clips. Please subscribe, please share the video with your friends and please hit the notification bell. Thank you very much. See you soon. Take good care and bye.